Hey, my name's Katie and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to make this short little video today to show you what a difference bristle nose catfish can make to blackbeard algae. So my rocks that I've got in here were absolutely riddled with blackbeard algae uh, only maybe four or five months ago, I think it was. Um, I'll put a video up to show you just how bad they were. They kind of went through a bit of a phase where at first they got the green algae, which I really like. I love that look. I'm not like a fan of a clean white looking rock. I like to have it uh, with a bit of algae, but just not the blackbeard algae. I didn't like it. And I mean, the reason being obviously is that I've got really strong lights on my tank and I didn't mind the algae too much, but it didn't look great and I realize that especially now that I don't have it how much happier I am without it it gives it a much fresher kind of lighter look so all that I did was I bought three little baby bristle nose catfish so just tiny ones like maybe like that big and popped them in here and within about a month they had pretty much eaten all of the algae it was really incredible I could see like the little patches kind of missing as they were going along and now you can see that the only algae that grows on the rocks is that nice green algae, which I like. They don't tend to eat this one as much, uh, but the blackbeard algae, like they really went to town on it. I'll have a look and see if I can see any of the little guys in here. They're pretty good at hiding in the rocks. But I just wanted to make this video just to show you that, um, oh, there's one, it's behind here. So they're probably like a medium size now. Yeah, I just wanted to make this video just to show you what a huge difference it can make because I just kind of went out on a whim and I thought I'll give it a go putting bristlenose catfish in here because I kind of wanted to get them anyway just to have a different species of fish in the tank. And I was really pleasantly surprised to see how well they actually ate the algae up. I think it looks so much better now and I was surprised too that getting such tiny ones would still work so I mean if you've got a tank and you've got enough room um, for a bristlenose catfish then I highly recommend them especially for getting rid of blackbeard algae like it's worked really really well and I haven't found that there's been any problems at all with the cichlids in the catfish the catfish are a little bit scared of the African cichlids, so if it's food time, they will kind of stay out of the way. And if there's like a pellet that's sunk and the bristle nose is eating, and if one of the cichlids come over, it'll move pretty quickly. Uh, but other than that, they've been really good. I've also got freshwater clams in here too. Sorry, not clams, mussels, which are like these little things. You can see they just help to filter the water. And so far I've only lost one of them and I would say I've had them for about five months as well now and I'm not sure how the one that I found died I just found the shell left over and I've got five left in there now but yeah I just thought that I would show you the huge difference I'll make sure I'll have some old footage and stuff that I'll be running over this video too just to show you the difference on the rocks and the tank in general from having these guys. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a like and comment down below. Let me know what you think and if you've got any questions. And if you would like to see more of this content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.